Hello and welcome back to our weekly series of Wisdom from Books with Talk a Book. After watching this video, do leave your wonderful comments so that we can make this effort better and better day by day. The portion of the book that I wish to share with all of you today is a must read book called Tough Times Never Last But Tough People Do written by Robert Schuller. Towards the end of the book, the author is talking about alphabets of action where he has picked up alphabets from A till Z and associated each letter with an attribute which is necessary for success and for good leadership. The author associates letter V with visualize where he says visualize the dream before you. Don't ever lose the vision. When you lose the vision, you are dead. Where there are no dreams, people perish. Talking about this point, the author narrates a story of a youngster who has just joined his college. He walks into his dorm room with a huge brass letter V, which he nails on the front door and keeps it very polished and shining throughout the year. When he moves on and changes his dorm room, he takes that letter with him. People ask him what is the significance of this letter, but he keeps quiet. On the day of commencement, when he is announced as a valedictorian, which means a student who gets the highest rank, he walks across the stage carrying that letter B. I'm sure the point is very clearly put across. The author says success all starts in your head and every person has the freedom to choose to be a success or not. It's that simple. Choose to succeed. See yourself as a successful person and you will be a successful person. Visualize. The me I see is the me I'll be. Taking the same point, I would like to add a few more living examples in front of you. First one is the example of a very famous Hollywood actor, Jim Carrey. When Jim Carrey was struggling to become an actor, he wrote a check to himself of $10 million, which he dated three years from then. Whenever he got rejected from producer's office, he would just open that check, look at it, and would get back that energy to once again go ahead and fight his way. Rest is history. Another example is of a great badminton player, Carolina Marin from Spain, who won the Rio Olympics gold medal in badminton. When she was unable to qualify during the London Olympics, she got the Olympic rings tattooed on her left wrist, which always reminded her of her mission. After four years, during Rio Olympics, she won the gold medal. That is what the author means by visualize. Thank you so much. That will be all for today. Please do like, share and subscribe our channel if you wish to join us in our effort of making this world a better place. Thank you.